Let's bring in John Tuttle, Vice Chairman and Chief Commercial Officer of the New York Stock Exchange. Great to see you, John. Thanks for joining us. Great to be with you. So, so going back a step, first of all, direct listings versus an IPO, the main difference was you didn't need to raise money or weren't needing to raise money for a direct listing. Is, is that right? That's right. And it, it, taking a step back, it's a project we started on a few years ago when companies started coming to us and saying, how can we decouple the fundraising event from the listing event. And so that's when we started architecting the direct listing. And, and now this change would sort of split that difference once again. It would. And so we're allowing two things. So we filed a proposal for rulemaking with the SEC, which would do two things. The first, it's going to open up the direct listing option to a broader range of companies. So giving them the option to, to pursue that path. The second is for those companies that choose to tie a capital raise to their direct listing, they'll have that opportunity as well. So I realize that this has been something that has been in the works for a couple of years, but how much of a tipping point have we hit this year given the results or I guess the performance of companies that have gone public more traditionally? So it's been a mixed bag for companies that have gone public this year. You've seen some tech companies that have come out a little bit earlier in their life cycle perform well. You've seen some companies that have come out a little bit later in their growth cycle perform not as well. Companies that are now looking to come to the market, and this is another pathway for them to go aside from the traditional IPO. Just mechanically, uh, a company that, were, uh, that was interested in raising capital at the direct listing moment, how does that happen? It's just a big trade that happens on the opening price, whatever that price is? Great question. It's very similar to the direct listing we have now. In a current direct listing, a lot of the investors, employees, current owners of the company are selling their shares to the public. In Slack, that opening trade was a $1.6 billion first trade. What we're proposing now is that for a company, if they want to sell shares as well on the day of listing, they would be able to join those existing shareholders in selling their stock. The only caveat being it has to be at one time, one price. So that's the opening auction on the New York Stock Exchange on the first day of trading. And would they be committed to a certain size of a sale beforehand, or they can just see how the price is shaping up and say, I'm going to offer a certain number of shares? So there's a minimum requirement, and that's that the company, the combination of the company's shareholders and the company's uh, new shares yeah. being sold to the market have to be at least $350 million to ensure sufficient liquidity that there's buyers and sellers there in the market. Again, with Slack, first trade was $1.6 billion in value. So we don't think many companies will have a challenge.